Hello everyone, I'm Maddie Barber, Special Projects Editor at T2G Media, and welcome to T2G's webinar with Domes Resorts. I'm joined today by Penny Now, who is Regional Sales Manager for the UK and Ireland for Domes Resorts. So hi Penny, thanks for joining Hello. us today. Hi. We're going to be giving you an, an overview of the Domes Resorts portfolio in this webinar today. Um, so kind of an, an overview of the brand, if you, those of you who aren't familiar with it, in terms of locations, unique selling points, and the type of client that the resorts are best suited to. We're also going to be talking about the new COVID-19 health and safety measures that the brand has put in place and Penny will be giving you a 10 minute presentation and um, it's going to cover each of the hotels in the Domes Resorts portfolio in a little more detail. After the presentation we're going to be talking about renovations and expansions in the Domes Resorts properties and any new features in the resorts that you should be aware of as well as future plans for development um, and any agent support that Domes Resorts is offering you right now so that's in terms of training, uh, incentives, competitions, that kind of thing. And then at the end, we'll be closing out with an inspirational video that is really going to bring the Domes Resorts portfolio to life. So just to kind of start off with a really brief overview, Penny, uh, how many properties are there in the Domes Resorts portfolio? I mean, what are they called and, and where are they located? Yes, so at the moment we have five resorts in the collection of domes. Uh, we are growing really fast, as you, I will tell you more about later. Uh, at the moment we have three in Crete and two in Corfu. Okay, great. And in, in your opinion, what makes these locations um, so, so desirable to UK travelers? So uh, in general, we do not have, we do not open a resort unless the, the location of it is very significant. So it will be either the uh, the, the beach there is just uh, amazing, stunning, or awarded the best beach, or it will be of uh, historical significance or cultural. So, for example, some of our um, hotels you will see that are right across an UNESCO protected uh, heritage site or nearby, or again, some of the best uh, beaches of Greece. Okay, great. And um, in terms of unique selling points of the Domes Resorts portfolio as a whole, is, is there one thing that the hotel group is really kind of championing across the board? Yes, I, I love that question. Actually, we do not offer only a hotel, just a beautiful room or in a nice location. Uh, we make sure that you do get that sense of place, that uh, you have the full experience. So in every one of our resorts, we will have some signature experiences. Um, some will be about discovering the destination, others about the culture, and others about the gastronomy of that location in specific. So that's what I, the unique selling point would be, along some few others that I will show you in the presentation. But the majority is that it's just more than a, a beautiful uh, room. <laughs> okay, great. And I know that Domes Resorts the, the Domes Resorts brand is a luxury brand, so we're better suited to customers. Um, with, with a you know chunkier budget um, and I know you're going to go into more detail in that in your presentation but between the results in your portfolio is there a variation in price point for example is there a dome resort better suited to a client who has a luxury but not ultra luxury budget or at the other end of the scale uh, for a customer who has you know seemingly bottomless pockets is, is there kind of a, a scale there Yes, yes. Uh, so the two most expensive products, if you like, uh, the bottomless pockets, as you mentioned, <laughs> uh, would be Domes of Elunda in Crete and Domes Miramare in Corfu. These are two of the most legendary resorts in Greece as a whole. And uh, very every year, actually, they do also host uh, royal families. So I would say these are more of the high end, uh, really high end clientele. Uh, all of them, though, are five star and very luxurious. Um, I would say afterwards on the on the order, it would be the two in Hanya, uh, Domes Zin Hanya, uh, that's for families, and Domes Norus Hanya, which is for adults. And then at the end is our latest one, the Domes of Corfu. This is actually an amazing value for money, especially with uh, a few offers that we have um, in place right now until end of May. Uh, of course, it's also the opening, the first year of its operation. So we've also made it really um, flexible and even more uh, value for money. Uh, I will show you what I mean exactly when I, I reach to that hotel. But uh, I would say this is something that for those that love the, the space and the design and the concept of Domes of Elunda, for example, the highest end, uh, they could easily cross sell to Domes of Corfu, but uh, you know, with slightly less budget. Okay, great. 
And um, I know the VIP collection is something that's recently been rolled out across all the Domes properties. Can you talk a little bit more about that and what it is and how it works? Yes, so we have the odd living selection uh, for uh, 2021. We will be having it in all of the hotels. Uh, and it's, as you said, the VIP selection. So um, guests that uh, choose a certain room category, usually the highest, and uh, it could be three, five, or seven of the highest of every hotel, they are part of that odd living collection. So that means that they come with a few extra benefits and services, you know, VIP status, and this follow them throughout. So it will be from uh, upon check-in, throughout their stay, and even upon checkout. Every hotel will have this um, hotel within the hotel concept. So every one of them will be also uniquely designed and they will have the same concept, but delivered uh, differently, all very VIP, of course. And um, this will have, for example, one of the most important ones would be the half board dine around that we give on a complimentary basis and access to the lounge, which is the odd living room uh, that guests will have uh, all day long, 24 seven access there. And they will have traditional delicacies, drinks, refreshments, beverages, and of course, hot and cold snacks. And that's 24 seven only for those guests. This cannot be purchased with an extra supplement. It's only, it only follows the room type. Okay, great. And um, in terms of COVID-19 protocols, which I know we're going to talk about, I mean, travel companies all around the world have had to relook and adapt their health and safety measures um, in resort, in destination. Um, what has Domed Resorts put in place to keep guests protected from COVID-19? Uh, yes, so we were actually one of the very first that we uh, created our own protocol uh, uh, against, uh, you know, COVID, health and safety and new normality. And in particular, we have also cooperated uh, with, of course, the government state guidelines. The University of Crete, which is a medical, uh, the official medical university in Greece, and uh, that we have also, um, we are part of Marriott. So all of those means that we've created a three-tier level almost uh, that has um, uh, health and safety rules from Marriott, from the government, and from us as domes. Also, all of our hotels will have an ambassador there that's there to assist with any other queries. There's really strict guidelines there. However, we didn't want to make sure, we, didn't, we actually wanted to make sure that uh, guests do not feel like they are visiting a hospital. So we still made sure that the new normality protocol keeps everyone safe, but still reminds them that they are... Uh, you know, in a luxurious hotel and they deserve to be pampered. Okay, great. Uh, okay, cool. So that gives us a good, good overview, good introduction. Um, if you're happy to, would you go ahead and share your presentation with agents so they can learn more? Yes, I'd love to. So let's uh, start now. Perfect. So uh, hello, everyone. Again, as we said, uh, Domes Resorts is actually the fastest growing portfolio in the Mediterranean, in the luxury segment. Uh, we have at the moment five resorts and every single year we open at least one new. For this season, it's Domes of Corfu, but we have more coming soon, um, which I will discuss at the later time. Now, all of our resorts, as mentioned, they are beachfront, five star, and of course, really high end and part of Marriott's collection, either in the luxury or the autograph collection. We also have uh, signature concepts, as we always like to you know, try to redefine the Greek hospitality and also make sure that our guests feel very special and VIP. So we do that by have created this uh, concept that you see in the pictures. Of course, some of them will exist in all hotels, others will be unique to one of them. Uh, and others, even if they are the same concept, they will again be delivered differently and uniquely in that resort. A few examples is that we have, for example, our LME's spa, spa products and treatments, tailor-made, uh, we have the wellness culture, um, the Asulin library corners, the art galleries, uh, our own yacht, the multi-open multi air space, uh, the core, and many, many more. And then one more is the odd living selection that we briefly mentioned already. As I was saying, every hotel will look differently from uh, uh, the other. For example, Domes Miramare has an extra swimming pool, the one that you see on the top uh, left, that is only for the odd living guests. So in the picture you will see, uh, and on the, on the left side with the bullet point, you will see all the different extra amenities uh, guests have. And these are just the basics that are same throughout. 
Every hotel, though, will have some extra additional ones. The most important one, as mentioned, is the half for diner on, that's complimentary, and the 24-7 access to the out living room and the uh, snacks and uh, um, delicacies. So starting with Domes of Elunda, part of the autograph uh, collection of Marriott and our most uh, iconic and legendary hotel, um, it, we are definitely redefining the Greek concept here of uh, hospitality and um, we have been awarded multiple times for design, architecture and the level of services. Our location is really unique. We are right across the UNESCO protected island of Spinalonga and that gives us for an amazing private uh, beach that's actually the only natural sandy beach in Elunda. So, um, one of our most uh, usual experiences there would be the Spinalonga guided tour um, as we are really close and what's another key selling point here is that we are the only hotel that uh, you don't have to go outside of the hotel to visit Spinalonga. Since we're this close we have our own pier and our own boat so guests can uh, pick up the boat and go directly. Uh, this hotel has only suites and villas. There are no standard rooms, and we're really happy that we've won actually Greece's leading luxury all suite hotel in 2020. Lots of F&B options, and of course the core, which is this large open air space with pop up stores and large strolling areas. So we're going for more elevated luxury here: couples, families, group of friends, and of course the more very authentic, relaxing, scenic, and experiential style. The water element is really important to us and especially in this resort is quite apparent. On the picture on the top left, you will see that we have the main swimming pool that's for all adults, the family, adults and uh, children. Then we have an adults only, a kids only, a pool indoors at the spa, and you can see the beautiful uh, natural beach that we were talking about, fully serviced, a really, really long one. Of course, also many rooms, most of them will have a private pool of their own. Now for F&B, we have four restaurants, four bars, gastronomy workshops, and wine tasting evenings. Uh, new things happening here with our restaurants. Um, I will discuss at a later time. Um, and uh, we also have the core, which is, as mentioned, the gourmet street style food trucks. Now for this season, we're giving everyone a complimentary upgrade to half board, and guests can of course upgrade to full board if, you, if they want. The rooms that belong to the odd living will definitely be getting upgrades to half board dine around. This is the core I was telling you about, another multi awarded uh, space, uh, a very unique concept that no other hotel in Greece has. Um, here, it's really amazing because you get different elements from culture, fashion, uh, play, culture, wellness, and of course, gastronomy. Um, so here you will find all of these uh, pop-up stores that have uh, gourmet street style dining and bars and snacks uh, like ice creams. You also will find our uh, monster series, which is uh, sculptures inspired by ancient Greek mythology. Really fun and interactive, but still educational. And this is where we also do lots of festivals, music, food, uh, Greek night, um, and international cuisine nights. No night is the same with the previous one. Uh, this is also really a high point for uh, the uh, guests that are still a bit more uh, scared, let's say, to go out and mingle. This has proven a big success this summer as uh, guests were able to still explore what's out there in, in uh, the world, you know, get a taste from all over, uh, you know, food from all over the world. Also what's in Ilunda, but do it within the safety of our resort. Of course, our kids club, we have crest, kids, teenagers and babysitting available. Our dome suites that are fully renovated for 2021, all of them are really spacious in two spaces actually, bedroom separate to living room. Uh, they will all have an outdoor space, a veranda with either a jacuzzi or a swimming pool. Now, uh, in particular, I wanted to pay attention to the family suites because they are really, really the best value for money right now in the entire market. They offer two plus two, start from 90 square meters and above, and they're two spaced and include half board in the rate. Here are residences and villas, the more elite tier accommodation and the odd living selection. Uh, we are adding a few new ones here for 2021. And then we move to Hanya, an amazing location, uh, destination actually as a whole. Uh, Doms in Hanya is part of the luxury collection. It's a really unique and bohemian resort, stunning, one of a kind, and actually the first of its kind to cater to the needs of a more, let's say 21st century family. 
very relaxed uh, and uh, very exotic. It makes you feel like you're somewhere else uh, in the world, not exactly Greece. Um, full of it is uh, actually fully um, picture perfect moments and sceneries, uh, very Instagrammable. The swimming pool that you see there is actually the focal point of the resort. And there are some key points that are, are amazing for uh, watching the sunset. We have actually won. Greece is um, actually the best resort of the year uh, in all of Europe for 2021 by the Slipper Ahead Awards. Let's say if you like the Oscar for hotels. Uh, so we're really, really happy and proud of that. Uh, here we're going for more slow living luxury. The clientele would be more for well savvy travelers, friends, uh, families, or couples, and very private, serene, unique, and earthy. Here, as you can see, we also have lots of signature experiences that having to do with either the culture or experiencing new flavors in gastronomy. Uh, this is a boutique resort, so we only have the one swimming pool that I, I showed you earlier as well, and it's really the focal point of the resort. We also have the Pebbly Beach right in front of us. F&B is just an amazing, amazing place, probably one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. Uh, as the, um, the breakfast there, the, the chefs are amazing with creating new flavors. They take really traditional Cretan recipes and mix them with more international flavors. We have these uh, mini breakfast rituals now that we had to adjust with, uh, of course, COVID health and safety rules. And it actually proved to be even bigger of a success as we make every guest feel special and bring them a mini buffet into their tables. Um, here we have also wine tasting evenings. Default board basis is breakfast and guests can upgrade to half board. Our kids club is actually the only kids club of its kind in the whole of Greece. Really bohemian, free spirited. We have really cool classes such as uh, kids calisthenics, cooking classes from Master Chef Junior, uh, sleepovers in this bedroom inspired teepee and two pools of their own. So really, really uh, unique space. Uh, our accommodation looks like that. Really, really beautiful, bohemian luxury feel, very comfortable furniture. They make you feel as familiar as you would be at home, but still as luxurious as you deserve. All of them will be open, uh, open plan. They will have a veranda and also either an infinity or a private pool, as you can see a really long one at that. We also have a few villas that ca capacity is up to six people. Now we're going to Doms Norus Hanya, uh, which is uh, really close actually to each other. And both of these properties are really close to Hanya town. This is part of the autograph collection of Marriott and it's adults only. This is probably the most luxurious adults only hotel in Crete, a beachfront resort again, and uh, known to be the new Mykonos, the new Ibiza, or even an alternative to Dubai, as it's known to have lots of wellness sessions. You know, uh, we bring guest DJs having live performances, theme nights, cooking classes, and private luxury boat, uh, boat trips. So really not to be missed. Uh, fine dining as well, and a gin and champagne bar. So orientation here, of course, cosmopolitan luxury. We're going for couples, friends, uh, families, traveling with teenagers, and vibrant lifestyle, sexy, and design style. For the water element, we have two swimming pools. The picture that you see on the top right is actually our vibrant pool. Uh, we have almost an identical one uh, further inside the resort, which is the quiet one. For guests that want to maybe enjoy just a book and not be on the noise, they can still do that. They don't even have to go there. They will just press a button and someone will come and take their order. The golden sandy beach, you can see it's direct access and right in front of us. We also have a pool internally at the spa. And overall, for this hotel, all pools are heated during low season. For F&B, we have our evening sushi bar, our signature restaurant Topos, and uh, as mentioned already, a gin and champagne bar. And in total, you have one restaurant, three bars. So you know it's a bit more adults oriented hotel. Breakfast is the default board basis and a half board can be upgraded at an extra supplement. And these are our accommodations. Really beautiful, vibrant colors, really, uh, you know, modern design. Uh, and as you can see, amazing views. All of them will have a really spacious veranda with either a jacuzzi or a swimming pool or both, uh, and they also will have a fitness or wellness zone with uh, equipment that guests can use if they wish to exercise while they're there. We will also have a Vitality Minibar to make sure everyone's remaining energized. 
And then we go to Corfu, another really popular destination for the British audience, the Domes Miramare Corfu, part of the luxury collection. This is probably one of the most legendary uh, resorts in Greece um, and uh, the most luxurious one in Corfu, as it used to belong to the Onassis family, uh, is a favorite for royal families all over the world. And uh, as you can see, every little detail is designed for VIP guests. Uh, it's also the absolute Mediterranean setting as it used to be located where a former olive grove was. Uh, and um, it, it, we, as you can see, we still maintain the olive trees and the grove and we actually turned it into an experience. So guests can have olive oil tasting and a tour at the grove. Now here, it's actually a truly waterfront resort uh, and uh, half of it is actually beachfront, half waterfront. And uh, we also have direct access because of that to the private and natural sallow beach. Um, it is uh, having really unique experiences. So for example, we will see that we have uh, uh, our own Asulin library, our own Miramareta slick cruiser that guests can go around the island or even to a nearby like Paxi. Uh, we also have our own art gallery that guests can either purchase art, uh, have a tour of uh, the, you know, the art uh, within the resort or even do a masterclass or workshop around art. Uh, we also have, uh, we're very big on the wellness culture outdoors and lots and lots of more signature Epicurean experiences. So we're going, of course, for sophisticated luxury here. Very ideal for couples or friends traveling together or families with uh, teenagers above 16. Very elegant, tranquil and experiential. Here is part of the resort. You can see an amazing location and all of this beach is part of our resort and private. Um, in total, we have three swimming pools, three piers and a private beach. Our F&B, we have an award-winning chef to cater for all of our menus. Uh, in particular, we have our Macris restaurant, which is focusing more on the Mediterranean cuisine. Then the Macris degustation place, which is a market. A uh, picture of that is the picture on the bottom right. And uh, guests can also purchase uh, anything they see on the shelves, but it's also where they do most of the tastings. And last but not least, we also have the Asian fusion um, sushi bar restaurant. Uh, breakfast is a default board basis and guests can upgrade to half board. These are our accommodations. We are splitting those categories in emeralds and pavilions. And as you can see, all of them have amazing views. And here you can also see better the element of the waterfront, as I was saying. For example, the picture on the top right, you can see that this person will have a private deck with a pool and can go straight into the water. Uh, the water is shallow, so no need to be afraid. Also, some of, sometimes there might be just a few steps or a pier that uh, they can use to enter the beach, the water. Last, uh, but definitely not least, is our latest addition to the family, Domes of Corfu. We're really, really excited about this one. And it's really amazing because it's combining two in one. In particular, it's combining the Domes Zin, Hanya, that we saw, and the Domes of Elunda. Another family resort, really luxurious, five-star, and of course, in the most amazing location that we could find in Corfu. It's actually in the awarded best beach, um, uh, in Corfu called Rilifada, a beautiful golden sandy beach. And the best part about it is that it's actually uh, surrounded, the resort and the beach, by lush forests. So all you can see as you're approaching the resort is the green combining with the blue. It's just a magical uh, moment. Um, it is also really close from the airport and town of Corfu, and uh, it is currently being fully renovated due to open in July 2021. So here we're going for uh, elevated luxury, couples, families, or group of friends, and very sophisticated, cool, relaxing, and uh, quite scenic uh, style. Here you will find almost all of the experiences that we were talking so far and all the signature concepts. We're also recreating the core, the open air space with uh, uh, the pop-up stores and uh, shopping outlets. So here's our water element. We have the infinity pool, as you can see there, which is actually elevated above the beach. So as you, you are swimming there, you feel like you're going to swim into the water. Really, really beautiful moment. It's separated by the beach by this beautiful bohemian style bar like you see on the top right. We also have an adults only and kids only pool. As you can see, uh, this is again a golden sandy beach and one of the widest in uh, Corfu. It's actually the the widest. 
Um, for F&B, we have three restaurants and four bars. Actually, one of the bars will be um, wellness or oriented. So it will have smoothies and healthy refreshments. And we are also going to be doing gastronomy workshops and wine tasting evenings, as well as our core, which is the open air space that has the strolling areas and the, the food and shopping outlets. Now, um, here we're calling it Spianada. And I will show you one more picture about it uh, in a bit. But first, I wanted to say that for this season, some really unique uh, uh, discounts and uh, concepts are happening here. We are giving everyone complimentary upgrade to half board, regardless the room they've chosen. You already have the dine around half board as you have in all of the hotels, if you are part of the odd living selection. Full board is available at an extra supplement. And uh, it's an amazing value for money as we have priced it up to 35 to 40 percent lower than Doms of Elunda and Doms of uh, Doms Miramare. So you know that it's already a really great cross sell, as I was saying to you in the beginning. And on top of that, we have also used uh, extended early booking discounts until the end of May. So really last minute bookings can still benefit from that. Now, for those guests that uh, are used to maybe having an all inclusive uh, property, this is an amazing uh, alternative because we do not do all-inclusive as we do not believe you can do, you know, this level of luxury and uh, still do a proper all-inclusive. However, we have rates really close. If you have a guest that uh, is interested in something like that, I would recommend booking an odd living selection room that automatically gets upgraded to half board dine around, upgrade to full board, so full board dine around. And then because you're not living, you have also access 24 seven to the lounge area that has all day long snacks and drinks and beverages. So really cl close option and still better value for money. This is the core I was telling you about. Again, here we will have different pop-up stores and uh, you know, related to gastronomy culture and of course uh, shopping. Um, then our kids club, which will be closer to the domes Zinhanya, the more bohemian style and our accommodation. So here again, you can see this bohemian approach to luxury. It's already made it the new talk of town, really earthy tones, beautiful like Dom's Zin, but also the design and space like Dom's of Elunda. Uh, rooms will overlook either at uh, the forest or at the beach. Um, and uh, overall, we're targeting the upper upscale to luxury segment, but definitely securing a value for money given the fact of being a five-star resort in Corfu. Um, and of course, the, the competition in general. That was it. Uh, also, lastly, I wanted to mention that these are my contact details for anyone that wants to get in touch. Uh, and also, um, here is an incentive program we are running. Um, I can talk a bit more later about that, but um, hope that was okay, Mari. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you, Penny. Those, those pools look incredible. I know, I know I was certainly sitting here with, with my mouth watering at the thought of all those restaurants and especially the gin and champagne bars. Those yeah, <laughs> same, same, exactly. Cool. So I know you mentioned um, Domes of Corfu is undergoing some renovations at the moment. Um, yes. Are there any other renovations or expansions in the other properties that you wanted to tell agents about today? Yes. So first off, we are doing a few renovations in uh, uh, Domes of Elunda, uh, where we have renovated actually already all suites, and we're creating new villas and residences. Um, and then uh, Domes Miramara is also having partial uh, renovation, uh, actually expansion. And uh, then the new things that we have coming, of course, all of them will have a small new addition, all five that I've mentioned. We, we focus on uh, renovating all of our resorts every single year. Uh, we don't, we're not one of those collections that just you know, choose which one to focus every year. And uh, also some exciting news is that we are also going to be opening a new property in Zante uh, in 2022. Uh, as I mentioned, we always open at least one new property every year. So uh, if all goes well, we also plan on expanding for the first time in the rest of the Mediterranean outside of Greece. So if all goes well, we're looking for Portugal first. Wow, that's really exciting. Yes. And is there anything else that should be on agents' radars in the coming months? Or does that kind of sum everything up? Uh, I would say the, the incentive. So let me just quickly um, reshare that. Uh, so for anyone that can uh, go and click on that link, 
uh, they will be able to, it's really easy link. You can see domsresorts.com slash incentive.pdf. Uh, it's actually running until the end of May, and there are more than one incentives. Really, really great for, for you as agents, but also for your clients. And here are my contact details. Uh, any any person, any agent really that wants more uh, information, you know, or needs assistance while quoting, uh, I'm happy to help. Great. And um, are you offering any kind of like marketing collateral to support agents at the moment? Uh, so we do have a, a library, an image library, uh, but I'm also in the process of creating a, a hub just for the agents um, with, uh, you know, ready material to use on your social media like Instagram and, and Facebook, uh, videos or pay, uh, like posters. Um, but yeah, we do have lots of different presentations. So if you want to have focus more on gastronomy or let's say uh, the HLS version, the Out Living, um, I have different materials for that as well. Great. And are there any offers running at the moment that agents could use as kind of like a, a selling hook? Yes, we have extended all of our uh, early booking discounts. Also, our uh, payment and cancellation terms are really flexible. Uh, so I would say definitely, uh, please make sure you, you do send some bookings our way because it's already getting quite full. Uh, we started sending a few stop sales. So I would say better do hurry up and, and make sure you, you get the best price for your clients now. <laughs> Great. And if agents have any questions after this webinar, about inquiries um, or want to find out more, uh, is the best way to contact you by email or phone or kind of what's the best way to get in uh, touch? Yeah, email, phone. I even have a few agents uh, on WhatsApp that they message me for very quick access. Uh, so yeah, whatever is easier. Uh, of course, depending the, the request, if it's urgent or not. Okay, great. Thanks very much, Penny. I think that's all we've got time for today. Um, thank, thank you, you. To everyone for watching. Um, we're going to leave you with an inspirational video that's hopefully going to really bring Domes Resorts to life and show you what it's all about. Um, and yes, so before I put that on, I just want to say thank you again and check out tgmedia.com for more training content from our partners. And here is the video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank Bye -bye. you.